Well, getting riding mowers to fix and flip is really not my thing, but this was free. It's a snapper rear engine riding mower. Got a 33 inch mower deck. 500 cc Briggs and Stratton Intec engine. That's probably about a uh, probably about maybe a 13 horsepower, 14 maybe. Things in pretty nice shape. If I wasn't going to take it, people were going to junk it. Now these engines here have a major problem: the compression release on the camshafts break. That was no exception to this one. It happened, so they just wanted to get rid of it. But look at this thing; it's all ready to go for sale. I have someone coming to pick it up hopefully this week. But anyway, yeah, the, the deck's in like really nice shape. Tires are in great shape. I think this is the highest end model that they make that's like this. It got the bigger wheels on the front. It got the headlight, hydro transmission, and it got the the big 500 cc engine. Um, yeah, I even got the freaking side chute for it there. Seats in nice shape, not ripped up. It's not even like barely any scrapes on it anywhere. The thing's in really, really good condition. And it's well, at least the engine's from 2013, so that's probably around a year of this thing. So, when I got it, uh, top cover was off, valve cover was off, I couldn't start it. Um, looked on Briggs and Stratton's website, about a hundred bucks, maybe a little more than that for a new cam. I was like, man, I don't want to buy a hundred dollar cam for this and uh, find out transmission's fucked up or something. So, I went on Amazon and bought an aftermarket one. It was like 35 bucks or something. I cannot, oh yeah. It was the cam, it came with the tappets, it came with a new valve cover gasket, and it came with a new sump gasket, and two crank seals. All that for 35 bucks. Um, so, the story on that, make sure, now I was just in a little bit of a hurry whenever I changed that cam, but make sure, before you put a new part in there, compare it with the old one. Don't make the mistake I did. I put it in there, I put everything back together, went to go to crank it, it, it would turn a little bit and then stop. So I got under there with a pipe wrench on the uh, the pulley, turned it by hand, it broke free, turn it with the key, it just lock up again. I'm like, okay, what the fuck's going on? So, I take the engine back off, take the sump off, I look, the diameter of the shaft on the camshaft was a bit too small in diameter and a little bit too short. So it was binding up in there. I'm like, oh God. So now what? I took the compression release off the brand new camshaft and put it on the old one. And it worked. So uh, yeah, I had to readjust the valves. I changed the oil, oil filter, uh, air filter, spark plug. I threw a new drive belt on it. Adjusted the drive because the when you went to go in reverse, it would barely go. Also sharpened the blade. She's all ready to go here. All right, let's go for a start here. Let's start it up. All right, let's. Idle's on down. Headlight works. I don't know if you can see that or not. got a cup holder the battery I put in here is almost a year old there's for raising and lowering the deck right here this is your PTO to engage the blade all right park and brake Okay. 
engage the blade. Yeah, riding mower is not really my thing, but uh, yeah, and I didn't realize this because I, I never really used a riding mower before, um, especially one with a single blade. They do vibrate a lot more than ones with twin blades. I'll pull this off here. Hold on one second, guys. Bear with me. What the hell is going on here? There, a little bit of grass under there from when I tried it. It's one big single blade. Deck's in great shape on here. A little bit of surface right there, and that's it. There's no holes in it anywhere. Listen to that. That's a really thick, solid deck this has. But the rest of this thing, I mean, I will say, this thing's built like a piece of crap. This piece right here, I want to apologize for the camera going to focus. This is just one continuous piece and that is your frame. There's literally nothing else under it. When I took the mower deck off, I was like, damn, you sit on it, this thing freaking flexes. So when you put the mower deck on it, it adds more rigidity to it. But th yeah, th this thing is not built like the old, old stuff. But I mean, I guess it's all right. <laughs> Got everybody's favorite carburetor as well. Nikki. Gotta love it. Alrighty guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.